New at five, a fixture in Springfield for more than 90 years will be closing its doors soon. Wheeler's Furniture started a liquidation sale this week. It will run for about 60 days. Joe Hickman visited with the family about their tough decision. Hi, welcome to Wheeler's. Wheeler's Furniture has been a well-known fixture in Springfield, whether it's the current location since 2002 on the south side or the original one in downtown at what is now a coffee shop and apartment lofts. That location, under different names, dated back to around 1929. But in 1986, Richard and Glenda Bennett bought the historic three-story building and enlisted their three children from Left, Kim, Greg, and Becky to run a successful, faith-based, family-focused business. My father used to be a pastor, and they ran their business according to biblical principles. Over the years, the siblings even took over management roles in the store and its offshoot ventures, but they paid their dues just like everyone else. They put us to work early. <laughs> I, as soon as I could, I was alphabetizing the delivery tickets in the office. We cleaned. Learning how, how much polish to put on the cloth. Yeah. It was a really wonderful way to grow up. Yeah. But as time moved on, so did the siblings. Kim moved to North Carolina. Greg is a minister in California. And Kim is married to a minister at James River Church. After their dad passed in 2014, their mom became owner and CEO, but after she passed away 10 months ago, the siblings had some hard decisions to make. We knew that uh, none of us were really in the position to carry the business forward into the next season. For anyone who's lost parents, you know it's especially hard to decide what to do with their belongings. And for the Bennett siblings, deciding to let go of their family's legacy has been an added burden. It kind of feels like you, you're processing the loss all over again in a way, but um, I think the store has been such an extension of our home, our family. I think because they had such a passion for it, um, that makes it harder to let go of it. But while the family is leaving the profession, they say they're not opposed to selling the business to someone else. We're absolutely open to that. Yes. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.